entering into a mayor's race against an incumbent doesn't phase me and will not deter me. Yes. This gift has helped me in ministry, enabling me to listen to the concerns of others, to stand with them in their moments of difficulty, and to encourage them through their adversity. The moment in my ministry when I had to share the words of comfort to thousands of police officers from Pittsburgh and abroad at the funeral of our three fallen officers, Paul Shulo, Stephen Maley, and Eric Kelly on April 10, 2009, was no larger than being with mothers who lost their sons to gun violence or a family who lost their child to a brain tumor. Mm -hmm. I have been in the midst of pain. This city is in pain. There are some who feel the pain, and there are some who do not. There's the pain of homelessness. There's the pain of relocation and dislocation. There's the pain of addiction. Yes. The pain of unemployment and underemployment. Yes. Yes. The pain of being racially profiled. Mm -hmm. The pain of being harassed and assaulted. Mm -hmm. The pain of being suspended. Yeah. The pain of being incarcerated for yeah. petty offenses. Yeah. Yeah. The pain of being released from prison to a world unfamiliar. Yeah. Yeah. The pain of mistaken identity. Yeah. Yeah. The pain of miscommunication and the pain of not being able to communicate because yeah. either no one listened yeah. or you can't speak the language hmm. or you don't speak at all. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. This city is in pain. Yeah. Yeah. And the pain is great. Mm -hmm. The fact that we were twice awarded the most livable city in America only makes the pain more intense. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The most accurate description is what Post-Gazette writer Gary Rothstein coined is that the Pittsburgh is the greatest city that doesn't grow. Mm. <laughs> because we refuse to recognize and confront the pain, mm. All right. the real hurt of our city residents. Yes. Now, while a pill cannot eradicate it, and politics will only exacerbate it, All right. we the people can do something about it. Yes. Yes. The healing can and only will come from us. Mm. Yeah, that's right. To that end, this afternoon, this moment, we are launching an unprecedented movement here in the city of Pittsburgh. Yeah. An unprecedented movement here in Pittsburgh where we will begin to demand the restoration of our democracy. Mm. The one that is supposed to be for the people, yeah. of the people, and by the talk about yeah. it. Yeah. By launching this movement, we can build the process of eliminating the pain and building a path to prosperity. Yeah. 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 A path open to all cultures, ethnicities, and socioeconomic strata. Yeah. Yeah. However, this will require us to intentionally dismantle structural Most livable, we must first become. 
become the most equitable. Come on! It is not fair, and, and I love bicycles, don't get me wrong. If I could still ride one, I would own one. But it's not fair when bike lanes take priority over bikes. It's not fair when East Liberty can look like Monaco and Bell Suva looks like Manaka. Our communities, our communities should not be victims of speculators who want to turn our neighborhoods into monopoly boards. It's not fair. It's not fair that Hilltop has to compete with Hazelwood, or Lawrenceville compete with Lawrence, or Fineview compete with Friendship, all for community development. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. Yeah! 